ever wanted to be a master spell wizard? Well, I have. Now this is it. It was day one here in Spellcraft. So I've got to be honest, I wasn't sure what was happening. But first thing I found was a book. I across the gap and reach the Arkhold, your home. And the book spoke to me and told me that I had to go to the Arkhold, or the Archhold, basically. I gotta go to a place, but I didn't really know where it was. I took a look around. It was getting kind of confusing, but eventually I did find the location I was looking for. This place looked like nothing I had ever seen before. Game Mode 1 had presented Spellcraft. This looked absolutely epic. Spells are sealed beneath these glowing standing stones. You can unlock one spell now and return for the others later. Blight, thunder, frost, or fire. What will you pick? Alright, so the cool bookman told me I had to pick a spell. I was always going to go with fire, because that's just my jam. I usually go with fire-themed things. But there was also Blight, which was kind of a poisonous spell. Thunder, which was basically thunder and frost. Well, you guessed it. It was a frost ice spell. Anyway, I had to spend 1,000 of these little jam things to get this fire spell. And I've got to be honest, it's one of the coolest things I have ever seen in Minecraft. Woohoo! Did you check that out? That was sick! And I now had it. My first spell. I checked it out on this little dummy and this thing was absolutely insane. I was really happy with my pick. Ooh, and I found this chest with some nice little gems inside. Let's get it. Alright, so it was day two and I learned that these little gems could be sold for the in-game currency here in Spellcraft. I was excited to see how we could sell these things, but not before long I realized I had to break my way through into this crazy room. I then saw myself as some sort of floating spirit. Super freaky, but basically that was me. Anyway, I found this little contraption and this was the thing that basically, well, grinded up all of the gems that I brought and gave me money in return. Again, pretty crazy. At the start, I had no idea what was happening. But I then realized I could upgrade myself using those currency coins. And I've got to be honest, I was getting stronger, more powerful, and this was getting more and more epic as the time ticked on. I found a couple of more chests around the place over the next few days in this cool castle place. And yeah, I was feeling good. I mean, I haven't really tested out any of my spells yet, nor did I fight any bad guys, but I was just using the gems that I had found to upgrade and get better before I went into one of these mad rifts to check out what bad guys I had to defeat. Another thing I found was a spell upgrader. I created runes which could then be put into this insane machine and attached to my spells. It all seems super complicated, but as we go, we'll realize it's not. It's just absolutely epic. Anyway, it was now time to get down to this crazy rift machine. Explore fragmented memories called rifts. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you heard that guy there. He was very faint, but basically he said I had to get down into this machine and explore the rifts for myself. Oh my days, this is gonna be crazy. Alright, so I was at depth one. This was the first rift that I had gotten into and I realized the portal back was closed. So immediately, I got scared, like a little sissy man. And these little skeleton rats came at me pretty hard, and I've gotta be honest, I didn't think I was gonna be able to survive, but then I realized I had this gigantic spell gauntlet on my fist. I was able to knock these guys back and take them out with my fire spell. Honestly though, that was just the beginning. We had normal regular rats, then we had these crazy gigantic skeletons coming at me hard too, and I realized this was actually going to be pretty difficult. I had spent some time getting better, leveling up my spells and leveling up my health and power, and I'm really glad that I did. If I had come straight into this, I would have got absolutely destroyed by these things, but thankfully, I was able to fight them off. I kept on going, and one by one, I took out all these freaky skeletons until it was time. The portal opened back up because I had defeated enough of these things and basically proved that I was going to be a good spellmaster. Memories of War. 
Another day, another rift. Wow, monsters. What a surprise. Ghouls, wisps, constructs. The whole gang is here. I am more powerful than ever. Even stronger than I was during the Mana Wars. I put an end to the Mana Wars, but by the time the dust had settled, the source of the magic was almost completely used up. Some said it was my fault, but I see no reason we should go around pointing blame. Ending a war by starting a crisis is all in a day's work for a true Arcanist. Yeah, so I found another one of these books and it started giving me some information. I kind of blabbed on about an ancient dude who was good with the whole wizardy spell thing. I don't know, I got bored pretty quickly of that, but I suppose it will become more clear as the 100 days goes on. Anyway, I spent a bit of time looking around this place, but decided it was time to get down to depth 2. So we did. Rift Depth 2, and it was some sort of ancient graveyard. Yeah, once again, I was absolutely terrified, but got to work taking out these crazy little skeletons. I had a feeling, well, the bosses were gonna get more difficult as we went down the Rift Depths. And I was right. These skeletons were pretty tough, but then they sent out some creepy little spiders. Ah, oh, dude, I hate spiders. Seriously, look at this dude. He's gigantic. Absolutely terrifying. But I persevered and was able to fight them off. I also found a couple more of these nice chests and grabbed some more loot. Memories of the undead. I have lost track of how many loops there have been. Hundreds. Thousands. Yep, just gonna go ahead and skip through this. But that was a small price to pay in the face of eternity. Okay, so basically this dude was talking about using spells to live forever, but sometimes it went wrong, sometimes it didn't. It was a whole big thing, and honestly, it is actually pretty interesting, so I'd probably go play the game for yourselves right now. I was going down to depth number three, though. All right, I was here, and we had to get to it once more. It was gonna be a little bit of the same, but again, it was getting more and more difficult as I went on. Plus, this was a new area. Kinda like the graveyard, but it had more mobs. I mean, these spitting little creatures, they were so annoying. Basically, because I hit them with the fire spell, they then possessed the power of the fire spell themselves. Which, let's be honest, is super annoying. Dude, I was dealing with enough damage from the floor, but now I had to worry about it coming from the air. And my own spell getting used against me. Ugh, so annoying. But anyway, as I went along killing all of these crazy mobs, I realized that each of their items that they dropped was actually worth the in-game currency. I could then sell these tokens to upgrade my spells and unlock new ones. Ooh, I was getting excited about that. I did find another book, but I didn't read it, because I just wanted to get to the next rift, so that's what I did. We were down to depth four. This was getting crazy. It was getting intense, and I now had these crazy little skeleton rats that had ice on their back. But thankfully, I picked the fire uh, spell, so I mean, I was good. Ice, fire, I, there was only gonna be one winner. Anyway, yeah, this is me killing a crazy amount of skeletons. It went on and on for ages and ages, but I was able to defeat them all and read another one of these books. I'm gonna get back to grabbing these chests and getting all of these lovely gems so I can turn them into currency. I could have went straight down to Rift Depth number five, but I decided I wanted to go back to the arch hole to see if I could sell this stuff, get more of the money, and upgrade my power, spells, health, and everything else that I needed to conquer these crazy ghouls and demons. Alright, so we were on to day 21 and it was time to sell all the loot that I had got from all those crazy ghouls that I had defeated. I sold it and I had almost 4,000, so it was now time to spend this money on upgrading my abilities. I started off with health and flight, of course, got some more mana. It was pretty cheap at this stage, so I was able to power through. And let's be honest, my reflection in the mirror was starting to look absolutely epic. I think that was a sign, basically, that I was becoming a master arcanist and a master spellmaker. Alright, so I could now upgrade my spells as well with these little totems. It was pretty epic because I got to make them myself, put them into the machine, and then when you take the spell back out, it has these enchantments on them. 
super, super cool. I also had enough money to go ahead and get my second spell. I now unlocked Frost. I had fire and ice, so I was feeling invincible. I kind of found out pretty quick that I shouldn't have felt like that because things were about to get super hard. Anyway, I tested this thing out and it was pretty cool, so I decided to go straight back in. I got down to rift depth number four once more, and this time I had these tree-headed skeletons to deal with. These guys were insane. They were super tough, but I was able to flick between my two spells and take these guys out with ease. Yeah, but like I said before, I learned pretty quickly that things were about to get a little bit more difficult around here. I was gonna run into some new mobs that were much more powerful, and I don't think I was quite prepared. Anyway, we got down to rift depth number five, and they came at me hard. We had the poisonous spiders. Frost skeletons, frost ghouls, and everything you could think of. These guys were coming at me hard, and for the first time, I started losing health seriously fast. I had to retreat. Things were getting pretty sketchy, but I had to keep on fighting. I had to keep on pushing forward, but there were some moments where I thought it was all going to end. I thought my 100 day experience was going to be over. I thought I was going to fail as a spellmaster. But thankfully, I persevered, kept on going, and eventually I was able to take out every single one of these crazy demons and complete Rift Depth number five. My days, guys, this is insane. We have to get to Rift Depth number 30 if we truly want to become a spell master. This was only number five, and it was insanely difficult. Whew. How are we ever going to get to 30? Alright, so over the next few days, I just kept on going. I went from Rift 5 to Rift 6. I was now in Rift Depth number 7. And it was getting harder and harder each time, as you guys already know. But I was able to battle on, battle hard, and use my spells. Number 7 was down. It was now time to go to number 8. I got there, and instantly I was attacked by swarms of these crazy big skeletons. They had ice, they had fire, they had everything that they needed to defeat me, but again, I was able to persevere and take them all out one by one. I've got to be honest, this was the closest I had come to dying. They were swarming me hard. They had me down to, like, three hearts. All of a sudden, I was down to two hearts. I was almost dead. I didn't think I was going to make it this time, I've got to be honest, but thankfully, I did. Because of this close scare, I decided it was time to go back home. So, after a depth of eight, I headed back to the arch hole just to basically get my bearings. I was able to sell all the loot that I had gotten, and I got nearly $15,000 worth, which was pretty sick. I was then able to go ahead and upgrade the rift machine to make sure that I could go back to the depth that I had just come from every single time. This was pretty big, so I was super happy with that. I also had more money left over, so I was able to go ahead and spend it on a new spell. Oh my days, these animations are absolutely epic, and I now had the Thunder spell. I was really looking forward to using this because, yeah, we all know that electricity thunder strikes are going to be epic. I realized that I did have a lot of money, so I was actually able to go ahead and get Blight 2. This is basically a poisonous spell, and uh, yeah, you don't want to get hit with that thing. It's going to give you nausea and absolutely everything like that. Then I realized there was a secret spell. It was hiding around the back of the building. This was wind. It cost 4,000 more than all the others, so I was thinking this is going to be absolutely OP. I was so excited to use it. Basically, it just shot out a big burst of wind, but I was thinking maybe it can do some more. I then spent the rest of my remaining money on upgrading myself once more. Again, my health, my flight, my mana, my overcharge, and my charge speed all got some pretty epic upgrades. I was now ready to get back into the rift and keep on battling. 
But before I did, I had to go ahead and upgrade some of my spells. So I got more of these little rune stones and put them into this crazy little machine and upgraded all my spells. A lot of work was going into this, but I was going to reap the benefits because I was going to be able to take out all of those crazy ghouls. Alright, so it was day 41. I was looking epic in my reflection. We had upgraded the Rift Machine and we were able to get back to the last depth that we had come from, but we have to keep on going deeper. We need more loot so we can turn into currency so we can upgrade all of our spells and become an epic spellmaster. Remember, we need to get to depth 30. We're only on number 8. Oh, it seemed like an impossible task, but I had to just keep on going. I was taking out those annoying little ice rats, then these, well, even more annoying flying spell casters. Dude, they were so annoying. And then the spiders. Don't get me started on those spiders. But I was able to take them all out once more with relative ease. I mean, I had got good health, good strength, and good abilities. But I don't know if I was prepared for what happened after Death 8. It was pretty easy to get that done, but we were going on to 9 and 10, and we had some new friends. I actually had to defeat fellow spellcasters. These guys were like demons in cloaks, and they had unbelievable power. I had to burn through all of the other regular mobs, but then I realized I actually had to deal with other spellmasters. Not spellmasters like me, but evil ones. They had all the crazy powers that I had, but they were pretty good at using them. So I had to get ready to use specific skills against these specific masters. It was gonna be difficult, but I knew that I had the power. I knew that I had to keep on going because we were only 33% of the way there. We got down to depth 10, but we need to get to 30. So I decided it was time to go back once more, sell all my loot and get upgraded. Dude, I had 12,000 loot, so it was pretty good. I got straight over to the crafting table where I could get new runes to basically upgrade my spells. It was all necessary. I still had 20 more depths to go. And if I was gonna get down there, if I was gonna actually defeat all these crazy mobs and the bosses at the end to become a true spellmaster, I had to get to work. So we were back at depth 10. Turns out I didn't finish it last time, so I had to start it again. I had to go in and start taking out these spellmasters once more, but it was a lot more difficult than I thought. I had to hide and basically get the high ground as much as possible because these dudes were actually super tough. Again, I got down low on my heart, but I was able to keep battling on and keep working against these crazy, crazy mobs to actually become victorious in each part of this crazy rift journey. So that was number 10. I worked through 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 to eventually make it all the way to depth 18. You have no idea how many mobs I actually had to kill. It took hours. But we were obviously making great progress, so I was super happy. I have basically got some insanely good enchantments onto my spells, and I was now taking out the hardest mobs with ease. As you can see, that flying spellmaster dropped like a little fly. I was victorious, and I was victorious against all his little goons as I went along too. Um, but yeah, and then I start getting really confident, and then they start fighting back even more, and um, yeah, it starts getting hard again. Every time I think this is easy, it gets super hard. I mean, this guy would not die. It took forever. Just die! Okay, I got a little bit stressed out there, but yeah, things were going good. I was getting all the loot, killing all the mobs, and becoming stronger and stronger as time went on. So it was on day 78 where I was at the depth of 20. 
I fought on and I was actually able to take out all of these guys pretty easily so I was super happy with that. Got myself a lot of loot and because it was Rift Depth 20 I actually got two loot crates at the end full of epic gems. These things were going to be worth a fortune. So I was super excited and decided it was time to go back to base to upgrade my spell gauntlet. To make sure that I was going to be able to take on these next 10 depths with ease. So I spent the next two days selling all of the loot and then upgrading all of my gear. I managed to get over 30,000 which was absolutely epic. I was now going to be able to become an unbelievably good master. Yep, I got all of these spells, upgraded them from 1 to 2 and some of them even 3. My power was going to be immense. No one was going to be able to stop me now. I was feeling good. Got back to the mirror and again upgraded all of my things. Hell, my mana, my flight, the overcharge, everything. I was looking and feeling amazing. It was time to get back into it, into the action and take out more of those mobs. So over the next week, the grind was on. I had to get back in here and kill as many mobs as I could because I've got to be honest, I kind of knew that I was going to have to get all of my spells to max level. I mean, check this out. This was depth 21. There were mobs everywhere. It was intense. They kept on coming at me in their droves from all angles. They were everywhere. It was super difficult. Each one of them. The battle toxic ghouls, the giant frost spiders, the, well, spell casting arcanists. They were everywhere. It was so difficult. Oh, bro. I really, really did have to just grind, get as much loot as possible, and get back home to see if I could upgrade this gauntlet more and more. I had to get to max level. I had to make sure that all of my spells were insanely powerful. So on day 88, I went into the rift one last time before I went home. It was on to depth 27. As you can see, it was more of the same. Pure and utter crazy action. I now had insanely big robot spellcasters coming at me too. It was, well, just nuts. But again, as you can see, I persevered and took them out. Dude, it was so difficult, but now I had a crazy amount of loot and of course I needed to get back to my base to see if I can upgrade this gauntlet one final time. So that's what I did. Opened up the portal and realized that I had got to depth 28. But check out how much loot I had. I had $80,000. Well, I don't think they're called dollars, but you guys know what I mean. I upgraded all of my things. I got max health, max mana, max flight. And I was able to upgrade some of my rune enchantments up to level 3. I was finally ready. I went down to depth 28 and start destroying these guys. I mean, this gigantic robot didn't stand a chance. I had some multi-shot spells on my spells, if you know what I mean. And these guys were just taking serious damage. I was loving it. Oh, yes. Just like that, depth number 28 was done. I truly was becoming a master spell casting arcanist. Oh man, I was feeling unstoppable. Okay, but we weren't finished just yet. It was day 97. We had to get down to depth 29. My gauntlet wasn't maxed out. My spells weren't maxed out, but it sure did feel that way. I was blasting these gigantic robots and I took out the rift in record time. But I wasn't getting too ahead of myself. I knew that level 30 was going to be immense. That was the target level. There was going to be epic bosses down there, so I decided to grab as much loot as I could and head back home one more time. 
I needed to max out this gauntlet. I had to make sure that all my spells were at the best of their abilities. So I went back, sold the loop once more, and I was up to nearly 90,000. It was day 100. All my upgrades had been done. I was ready. Straight into the rift, down and into depth 30. Oh my days. It was easy. <laughs> Check out how powerful my thunder spell was now. I was taking out multiple mobs with one shot. Oh, it felt so good. I don't know why I was worried about this depth at all. I got in and destroyed these fools. It was truly done. I had truly achieved what I had come to do and become a master spellcrafter. An arcanist like no other. I was unstoppable. Did this mean that I was immortal, just like the guy from the storybooks? I'm not sure, but if it is, I'll live forever. I'll live forever as a crazy spellcaster. Guys, this game is insanely good. Go check it out for yourselves. I had so much fun on this one. Hope you guys did too. But until next time, I'm out. Peace!